How's it going guys? Welcome back to the blue shifting. Welcome back to Panzer models. Panzer made Madels? I'm not sure if it's Madels or Madels, but uh, regardless, I did some finicking. Hopefully this looks a lot better than the last one. Uh, I didn't realize that the window was going to stay so small and that my usual editing tricks weren't going to work, but I tried some new stuff. Um, you're going to have this handle at the top here. And you might see a bucket every once in a while, but uh, <laughs> right on the side, I, I, I figured out a new trick to make this work. So um, everything should be working great, though. So let's get right back to it. Well, the last time we were here, we met up with these girls, and we're gonna decide like who we're gonna ask for some help, either Panzer or T34. Now, um, you know, T34, she's you know got that kind of shy like soon today kind of thing, and, and you know. Don't get me wrong, enjoy a soon today. But I think this time we're gonna go for the more day to day. Well, not day to day. -day. Uh, I can't remember the terms. Give me a break. I, I'm learning, dang it. I'm getting them. Oh, that, I, mean, I wonder I couldn't hear it right. But let's go with Panzer. She's very sweet. Erwin! Uh, yeah, hey, I, I was wondering if you knew. Nine! I know nothing about Craig! Where the surplus store is? Oh, <laughs> Dad, yeah. Farce of habit, sorry. I'm gonna try, I guess I'm gonna be doing a German accent. A blatantly horrible one at that, but I'll try it. <laughs> yeah, uh, about the store though. It's not like uh, Brusula didn't have a significant ties to Prussia anyway. Uh, what? Oh, right, surplus store. Yeah, do you know where it is? Hmm? It's just a few kilometers from here. I can walk with you if you'd like. Oh, sure. That's no tr it's no trouble at all. Don't be silly. I'm happy to help. She winks at you. Aw, how cute. I kind of went Scottish there. I'm so bad with accents. It's, ugh, it's, it's almost painful. Panzer 4 leads you down to busy Akihabara streets. Two or tank tank. Like, how could you do that? Anime billboards everywhere. Girls dressed as French maids and the... Bustle of tourists are everywhere, and Panzer IV stops more often than once to check out Kitschy, Kitschy accessories. You reach another street stand, and the men behind the table are selling hair ribbons with cute characters printed on them. Oh my gosh, it's so kawaii! Oh no! She sounds to nobody in particular. Huh, you're sure seem excited. I just love kawaii things, Desu. Oh my gosh. Ugh. It's so painful. No desus, no desus. You're talking this in Japan thing to heart, aren't you? <laughs> She's like super touristy. Uh, like totally, I love Japan. She's like borderline weeaboo at this point. What verse got you into it? LOL, she spells out. <laughs> Oh, uh, maybe I should have gone with T34. <laughs> I've always liked Japan, like, since the 40s. Oh, that's true. They were Axis. <laughs> right. German tank. So, does your sister like it here, too? My sister? Oh, do you mean Tiger 1? We're just cousins. Anyway, she's so boring all the time. She just seems shy to me. Trust me, you haven't had to sit through a family reunion with her. How did that go? Let's just say we stopped doing our reunions until 1989. <laughs> the East, West, and uh, Berlin Wall. I know history. Did you just make? Never mind. <laughs> Woo! Here's the store. Oh, ha, that was quick. Do you want to go inside? Oh, I'm actually kind of a little bit banned. Wait, what? I swear, I thought it was a direct, a defective round. Oh. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, I guess that's as good as any reason to I need to ban somebody. <laughs> I'll catch up with you later, Erwin. She winks at you as she walks across the street through traffic. Oh, boy. What a weird girl. Each one is crazier than the last. You walk through the surplus store. That was the loudest intro bell I've ever heard. Inside the walls are lined with weapons from various eras, and towards the back you can see some bookshelves stocked with what look like field manuals and films. I'm sure that's just wonderful material. 
A few other customers know about the store, and a bored-looking shopkeeper sits behind the counter. Now, okay, forgive me if I'm wrong, but I understand Japan. I don't think you can buy any real weapons just, like, off the street without, like, a crazy, like, I don't know, certificate or license. And, like, it's depicting, like, heavy machine guns. Like, I don't think that that... I don't think you can even get that here in America. And that says a lot. Sheesh. I'm glad to be in here. At least everything seems normal. The shopkeeper looks up at you near the counter. As you near the counter. Welcome to carry a surplus. Can I help you with anything? Um... Do you have any headlight fluid? I'll, I, I'll, I have to. Do you happen to have any headlight fluid? Please make me joking. If it wasn't for the fact that I've been legitimately asked that before, I would tell you to screw off. Good, it was supposed to be a joke. Why doesn't that surprise me? <laughs> hey, Karis, is someone giving you trouble? It's not like one of those girls, is it? Oh no! Oh, <laughs> oh sweet St. Mary on the hood of Mercedes Benz! What a surprise! Recruit Lamore, isn't it? Yes, sir. Good grief, I wasn't expecting him here. Hey, don't you dare, sir, me. Check your eyes or I'll remove them from their sockets. Uh, yes, Sarge. Um, uh, what is that in your hand? What's that you got there in your hand, Sarge? What? There's nothing. Mind your own business, recruit. Doesn't seem like nothing, and you were whistling. What is it? Let me ask you them questions, recruit. Have much experience with tanks? Uh, just basic. Uh, a little in basic training. Ha! I knew you weren't that much of a little puff. So tell me, what's she look like? She? Sergeant, are we talking about... Well, maybe this will straighten you out, recruit. He hands you the DVD that he's been holding tightly in his hand since the beginning of the conversation. Oh no! He found tank porn! I don't want that. You glance quickly at the title. Triple XML Rex. I knew it! It has the picture of a mod super heavy tank on the cover. Shoot, Sergeant. Is this? He slaps you on the back laughing. <laughs> it's the only gift you'll be getting, recruit, so enjoy it. He laughs to himself as he walks out of the store, waving goodbye to the shopkeeper. Oh, dear. This place is keeping weirder and weirder. You tuck the DVD under your arm and start heading home. <laughs> oh, great, great. I didn't even get what I was going for. I just picked up some horrible tank porn. Because that's what I wanted in my life. Back in the street, days turned to night. And the bustling tourists is replaced by the bustling of slightly more intoxicated tourists. Oh, yay. Drunk people. Maybe I can give them the DVD. As you walk home through Akibara, you hear a voice calling you from behind. Uh-oh. Is this the return of the creepy girl? Oh, no. Oh, Erwin. Oh, no. Oh, hey. I asked too. What's up? You wouldn't believe how hard you are to catch up with. I swear, I had to jog the last three blocks. Oh, great, you were following me. You followed me for three blocks? <laughs> great, it's great, this is awful. Oh, no. No, six. I just jogged for the last three. We're dying. Like, she's either going to kill us, or we're going to be strapped in her basement with broken legs for the rest of our lives. Either way, I'm not looking forward to it. Okay, that's mildly disturbing. So, let's go out. You know, as tempting as that sounds, I actually was just heading home. That's okay, I can go with you. Uh, no, that's, no. Come on, let's go. Oh, crap. I just, too. That's that's really sweet, but I need to go. Oh, sorry, I've got a cold, and I'm re I like I'm reacting to this with like fear and, and dripping, dribbling. Oh, okay. Well, will you call me? Oh, fetch. Ah, oh, no. Ah, oh. okay. In high school, I know how I handled this situation because it happened. Oh, I'm sorry. But, I would say yes and then not. <laughs> but, uh... Oh, fetch. Oh, man. I hate making people feel sad, though. Like, I don't want to. And so that means I probably shouldn't. 
But I'm, uh, I'm just a nice guy, sure. Yeah, sure, but for now I need to get going. I'll catch you later. She smiles before scampering off. IAS2 smiles at you as she walks off down the street. Weird tanks. Weird city, you mumble as you continue to wake your way home. <laughs> Ugh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> please don't have followed me. Please don't have followed me. It's good to finally be home. You toss the sergeant's DVD onto, the, onto your desk. I was hoping for at least the sergeant would be normal. Looks like he, that ain't happening. I guess I'll try and get some rest before class tomorrow. You lay in your bed and drift off to sleep. Ugh, quality. Just absolute quality. Oh, man. Someone review. Someone review. Many large caliber rounds, AT or otherwise, may bounce against properly angled armor. Even the thinnest armors can be bounced at high velocity rounds if the angle is severe enough. As such, take care to present as little of your armor as possible. Avoid showing the enemy your broadside, and be extremely careful both for penetration from the rear. Ah, bad taste in the mouth for that one. Pfft, rear penetration sounds right up Gunny's alley, huh, Sherman? Uh, <laughs> it does have a thing for flanking maneuvers. Oh! Oh, man. I wonder, does she call them Senpai? I wonder if she has a thing for him. Really? Because I have some personal intel that he prefers ammo racks. Big ammo racks. Oh, which do you prefer? She grins teasingly. I'm not answering that question, Sherman. Lane. Recruit! What are you whispering about back there? Sir. Don't you serve a maggot! Sorry, I would shout a lot louder, but there are people sleeping. <laughs> I, can't, I can't fully embellish myself. Please forgive me and my poor acting at the moment. Suddenly, I have an idea. This recruit has a question regarding penetration. <laughs> Go on. This recruit is wondering whether or not the size of the bore affects penetration, sir. Is it better to have a large bore, a long barrel, or just the skill to aim well? <laughs> the question of the ages. What are you implying, recruit? This recruit is simply inquiring as to how the sergeant prefers to penetrate tanks. <laughs> is it even possible with a smaller gun? <laughs> oh, this is the this is what I came for. This really is. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh crap, he's pissed. Ugh. <laughs> Wait, how big is your boar? She whispers. Sherman, Sherman, not now! You whisper back. Class, outside, we're having a practical drill in angling armor. Recruit Lamore has graciously volunteered himself as the first target. Oh no! Sir? Don't you serve me, maggot! Outside, or now, or my boot goes up your rear until it hits your teeth! Oh, that's a. We're gonna die! We are gonna die. All right, tanks. Which one of you is gonna take the first shot at the crew, Lamore here? Sergeant, he can't ankle his armor. Well, he best learn real quick. I volunteer, senpai. Well, if it isn't the bright American star herself, front and center. <laughs> oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! <laughs> What type of round should I what type of round should I load, Senpai? Total line, Sherman! Load he I Recruit! Angle your armor! How? What am I supposed to do? Angle it! Um Well, 35 degrees would be the proper angle for proper deflection. Physics, I know. Physics. Depends on what's on the right and left of me. I'm gonna go right. Who the heck am I kidding? I'm screwed. Round ready, Sergeant. Take aim! Sherman, wait, please, don't shoot. Please, you don't want to do. Please, 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 please. Come on, man. Angle, here it comes. Oh, no! Fire! Woohoo! Oh. Oh. Uh oh, I'm dead. Ugh, time to go beat. Morgan Freeman. <laughs> Erwin? 
Uh, what? Can't you leave a guy with no legs in peace? Erwin. Oh no. Is that you? Am I dead? Unfortunately, you are not, recruit! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It seems the pinnacle of American engineering. Couldn't hit the broadside of a gosh darn aircraft carrier! <laughs> Tomorrow, we will be having class in the field! You're dismissed, maggot! <sighs> I'm not dead. I'm not dead! Ugh. Am. Am I dead? Whoa. No, mostly not. But you did take a beating. How, how did I get here? You need to take it easy, Erwin. You don't want to get hurt. I'm... Alright then? I can't carry you home every time you go off for getting yourself into trouble. Ooh. Oh, how nice. Ooh. Although, I think Sherman is a little cuter. They, though she did try to just shoot me, so maybe that would... Uh, me? I remember... Not a lot, actually. What happened? Don't worry about it. Just try and get some sleep. She puts her head on your hand. Oh. Gosh, humans really can't take that much damage, can they? <laughs> nope. You weren't the one getting shot at. Shh, I know, Aaron. Um, thanks for carrying me home, though. Oh, don't mention it. She blushes. Aww. Aww. I just wanted to make sure you were okay. Uh, Banjo leans in close. Oh my goodness. Holy crap, this is going quick. Erwin? I, I wanted to ask you. Oh, snap. Aw, sure. Yo, new guy. I wanted to make sure you were alright. I'm all. He's fine, Sherman. Uh oh. Well, I brought me some snacks to cheer you up. She had you a small package of pretzels. No, ah, pretzels. Mm. Um, these are expired, Sherman. <laughs> I said I brought them, not bought. Oh, snap. I'm gonna head home. Get some rest, Erwin. Hmm. Well, great. Now, like, we've had, like, really nice, like, love from the, from the German tank. Phew. She seemed mad. What's the something I said? Uh, no. It, it's alright, Sherman. Anyway, thanks for checking on me. I think I was mostly just surprised by the shot. I feel fine now. Good, because tomorrow Sergeant's having us do some outdoor thing. He wanted me to bring you the address. She had you a slip of paper with the lat, lat launch coordinates. Oh, yay. 32.41 north, 141.04 east. Yep, see you tomorrow, new guy. Ugh. All right. Well, you know what? I think that's gonna cut it for tonight. Well, hope you're enjoying it. Uh, we're gonna definitely see. I don't know if we're actually gonna get to a point where we get to choose, and I don't know who yet who we get to choose like between. But I'm really interested to see what's happening. I mean, we almost got shot. Thankfully, we didn't, but we almost got shot. And uh, now we get to figure out what Sherman and I are have in store for some kind of field work. But in the meantime, thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed this. Please leave a comment if you wanted to say something or if you want to see a particular path get taken. I still quite haven't decided which one I'm going to take. But just let me know in the comments below what your opinion is. And until the next video, I'll see ya.